We're standing in what was the old train station in Dearborn. Now it's the headquarters or the main building for the Friends for Animals of Metro Detroit. This particular area is the last part of the building project that needs to be modified into a brand new animal intake facility. That's why Jake is here today. Jake is hoping to turn his $236 in change into $25,000 to help pay for the construction of this part of the project. So Jake, this is what we're looking at rebuilding here. We're going to tear all this stuff out, put in a brand new animal intake facility, and close down that old building down the road where that part of the activity goes on today. So how it works is in the morning when we go for our first walk, I put the leash on Jake. We get down to the end of the driveway and I, I'll say, Jake, which way are we going to go today? And then he'll choose left or right and we go. And then somehow we find money. Just yesterday we found a dime in somebody's driveway. Now over the years that's added up to over $235 and we're going to donate that to the Friends for Animals for Metro Detroit. So I have two really cool Jake stories. The first one is that not long after he arrived in 2009, we got to the end of the driveway and I said, Jake, which way are we gonna go? And he led us to the Berkeley Public Library. Now we're walking in front of the library and all of a sudden on the ground, there's this gigantic wad of cash. I bent down and picked it up and it was $17. That's the most we've ever found at one time. The other cool story is on my wedding day, we were staying with my wife's sister in Bay City, Michigan, and we didn't know the neighborhood or anything, so we were walking around and Jake found a $10 bill in the grass. I thought that was pretty neat.
God, Jake, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. What's that? What have we got? It's all right, bud. We'll go get warm in just a minute. 